Good morning. This is the first course in ICEM Hexa. ICEM is a pre-processing software for CFD analysis from ANSYS. It's one of the most powerful pre-processing softwares out there in the market today. Being powerful, it's also very difficult to learn on, on your own. Uh, its difficulty stems from the fact that it, it, it takes a different approach to meshing. And uh, the, the, the motive of this course is to train the student into an, and the a new user in, in a much more efficient way of tackling complex geometries using ICEM hexa. Please note that the course concerns only with the hexahedral aspect of meshing using ICM. The tetrahedral mesh, which is much more easier to learn, won't be covered in this course. My name is Vishal Anand and at the time of making of this video, I am a PhD student at Purdue University in the US. My expectations from the student is that they should learn the modules sequentially. They should not skip the modules as in you should first start with the first module, module 1 and then go on to module 2, module 3 and so on. Please do not skip the modules. And also there has been a presentation uploaded in the description part of this video. The presentation explains in detail the various options available in the ICM CFD GUI. So you should read the presentation in tandem with the video lecture. So this is what the uh, geometry looks like in the ICEM GUI. Uh, for your benefit, I have already uh, I have already created the parts. Uh, uh, these are the back wings, and the uh, and this is the uh, I mean the jaw the missile is enclosed in a in a tunnel, an air tunnel, uh, a wind tunnel, so called. Uh, this is the inlet. This is the outlet, of course, and the, uh, this is the missile body. And uh, and uh, these are the these are the uh, these are the uh, back wings. So the missile is composed of the body and the wings. And then uh, for the air tunnel, we have the inlet and the outlet and the tunnel walls. Rest, of course, the curves and the uh, points I have made into a same uh, same group, same part. So without wasting uh, much time, let's let's uh, get ahead with the blocking. So I initialize the block first. I go to blocking, initialize, and I create a part called fluid. The, there is no fluid part here, but once I name it, it will be created. You already know this, and then say apply without changing the basic settings, and then I click here. And uh, before I go on to uh, mesh, uh, creating splits, let, let me associate the uh, edges on the surface, uh, on the uh, inlet and outlet surfaces. So I will just select this here. So inlet and outlet are selected so uh, to capture the geometry uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, of this missile uh, i will have to uh, uh, make splits in the block so let us first decide where all the splits will be made so this is the front view this is the front view let me show you here this is the front view of the missile and this is the like the top view this is the top view like this will be the bottom view. So we, we will uh, make the, uh, this is the front view, let's go back to the front view. So we will make the splits wherever the, the, the shape changes. So we'll make one split here at the tip of the cone, then one split here where the cone merges into the cylinder, and then a split here where the wing starts, and a split here where the wing, 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 uh, wing tip becomes very, uh, very horizontal and one split here where the missile body ends. So these are the uh, sp uh, splits we'll make in the, in the front view plane. 
Similarly, in the top or bottom view plane, we'll make the splits wherever the missile body changes shape. And uh, so uh, let's uh, let's go on and start making the splits now. I go to split block. I select the prescribed point option because the points are already there. So let us click here. Let's say apply. Similarly, let us click here and say apply. Let us click here. So we have created the splits here. Let, let's go to the bottom view. Create the splits in this plane as well. So we have created the uh, splits in uh, this plane here. And then let's go to the uh, left view ones. Let's see if there are any more splits to be done. Uh, it seems that most of the splits are already done. So uh, let's go to the front view once more. So the, uh, so the challenge here, once we have done the splits, is to capture this conical surface here. Uh, so we already saw in the, in the tutorial on uh, the airfoil that how to capture a uh, conical surface, we, we, we collapsed the blocks. So, uh, that that uh, that surface was conical only in one one direction. Uh, the in the airfoil surface was conical only in one direction, but here it's uh, co conical in all the directions. So here we will collapse the block in two directions. That is the first thing we should note. We should collapse the block al along two directions. Second thing, which blocks to collapse? Now, uh, uh, collapse block is nothing, it's just merge vertices where the vertices are merged at average location. So, since we have to capture this cone, so we should collapse this block so that this vertex and this vertex are merged at their average location. I repeat, since we have to capture this cone, we, have, we should collapse this block so that this vertex and this vertex merge at this middle, the average location. So we'll do that here and then we'll repeat the process for the another plane. So let's go to merge vertices. Let's go to collapse block. And before I go to collapsing, let, let me 
switch on index control and switch off all the blocks which are unnecessary. This will help us uh, avoid mistakes. So we, we collapse edge here, this, this edge, and then I select the, all the blocks because the blocks need to be collapsed. In. Apply. So I when I uh, so you see we have been able to create a uh, conical surface here. In this plane, we have been able to create a conical surface. Let's go to the bottom view. We see we, the cone is not uh, the cone is not captured in the bottom plane. It was captured in the front plane, but not in the bottom plane. So this is the big difference between this geometry and the airfoil geometry. The airfoil geometry was conical only in, along one dimension. So here it's uh, conical all along. So we will again collapse this edge, and uh, and the, this block will be collapsed. So that this vertex and this vertex they merge to the average. Collapse block is nothing but merge vertices to average. So we will switch off the Z. I mean, let's let's reduce the geometries and the visual clutter. So we will switch off all the blocks except the block which needs to be collapsed. So we start here. We we collapse the blocks. Uh, we select this edge and then we we, uh, we collapse all the blocks here say apply you see the curvature has been captured here as well so we have been able to capture the uh, conical shape let's reset so the conical shape has been captured in along both the directions Now, before we proceed further, it's in our interest to uh, associate the uh, vertex here and the curves here, so that the so that at least the conical part is uh, care, carefully captured. Let's do that. So like, I will again uh, reduce the word visual clutter. Now I, I merge the vertex to the point. Now before I associate the uh, curves, let me uh, let me just uh, okay. I can associate the curves. So we have been able to capture the uh, capture the conical shape of the uh, block. Uh, uh, before, uh, now the wings are the wings are left. I need to do the splitting and merging and association all those uh, all those steps for the wings. Uh, now we know that this this uh, uh, missile uh, this rocket is in uh, is in a uh, air. So the missile will have uh, an uh, 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 a solid material, a solid domain. So let's create a solid domain and start moving parts as in when comfortable. This will uh, ease out the problem of moving the parts. So we, we are moving uh, the conical parts here to the solid. Uh, and I'm sorry, yeah, we should uh, move the, we should move the blocks not the surface so I, I go I create a part called solid and I, uh, I blocking material and then so I will move this over surfaces uh, these blocks to the solid part now. 
so we uh, we we are uh, we are we have taken care the uh, wing uh, the the body of the missile now we the what's left is the wings the part of the wings so uh, let us let us switch on uh, let us switch on the display a little then uh, so uh we will now uh, start the capture of the wings so this is uh, the the uh, so this is what the uh, the 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 blocking near the wings look like right now you see we have a uh, we have not made any uh, divisions along the wing shape so we need to do that first and if you see here uh, there is a very thin thickness attached to the wings so this will make uh, the, this will impact the quality adversely but that's the problem of the geometry we cannot do much here uh, if it was left to me i would have created a geometry which was like thicker so that there is not much a problem with the quality of the mesh but uh, the same approach would apply to that geometry as well so you you can try it with a thick a little bit thicker wings and uh, the same approach of meshing you will get better quality so right now i will start the start the uh, start the uh, division to capture the wings so let's go to split here 